A typical Saturday in a house of six, four kids all under the age of 11 and two loving and doting parents. This seems like a look into a very average American household. But this story began a long time ago. This is the home of the Gomez family, an ordinary family, but with an extraordinary story. One that started with tragedy, but now is a symbol of hope. In 2010, a tragic two vehicle accident took the life of Brie Gomez, who was then pregnant with her third child, soon to be named Curran. In the car was her husband Eric and her two other daughters. The five were driving on US 385 near Channing when another vehicle crossed into Gomez's lane and collided with the Gomez family. Curran survived the accident after an emergency cesarean section, but Brie died following surgery. Three children lost a mother, and Eric lost his wife and high school sweetheart. But he never gave up hope. And I remember one time specifically that I woke up. I guess the, the song was playing was, there's a light at the end of this tunnel. Looking forward at the time, you know, you don't see a whole lot of it because you know, you're going through, you're grieving, you're trying to pick the pieces up and put it together. But to, to see a fairy tale now is, you know, you don't think about it, but it's, you know, God restored the whole thing perfectly and uh, like I, I keep saying it was his plan and his timing. Now Eric is a basketball coach at Tascosa. On the court he mans a group of teen boys and leads them to victory and at the end of most games he gets a reward. A hug from all of his kiddos and a big kiss from his wife of two years. You can tell with the kids running around the house and they're happy and they're fulfilled and I think more importantly they feel safe and they know mm -hmm. that you know Lindsay loves them with all their heart and that we're a complete family now, and I think both of them, especially Mally, is just taking a deep breath. The two went out on a blind date after Eric had been praying about re-entering the dating scene, and just eight weeks later, the eldest daughter already began calling Lindsay mom. Just a couple of days later, an engagement ring followed, making that title official. When we got married, there was a spiritual bond mm -hmm. that happened between me and the kids. A spiritual adoption is kind of what we call it. So it's like I've always just been mom. I mean, I don't even remember them calling me Lindsay. That's the crazy thing. The couple says it was a smooth transition with the kids welcoming Lindsay into the motherhood role. But just because they have a beautiful mom now does not mean the children have forgotten their mother in heaven. And the girls know if you talk to them, you know, Ellery will tell you that Lindsay's my mom now. And I have a mom in heaven, but Lindsay's my mom. She's the mm -hmm. one that's going to raise me. She's the one that's going to take care of me. She is my mom. And that was important for, I think, us to have a family and not be a divided family, yeah. not be a split family. It was clear from the start for Eric Gomez that Lindsay was everything he had asked for from God. From the day they got married, they were a family, but the couple still wanted a child of their own. Then came Levi, almost a year old now, whose name means unity to bring the family together. He united us, and, and he has. If you watch that kid, he loves those kids. They're so tied together. <laughs> Karen wakes up every morning and cannot wait to play with Levi. Curran, who Brie Gomez was pregnant with during the tragic accident, still does not know all the details of that fateful day. His parents say they want to share that story with him when he is old enough to understand, but they are not afraid to tell him his story. We've kind of not messed with him for now, and when he gets older, he, mm -hmm. he's got a great story, and we can't wait to share it with him. Yes. But, uh, you know, God has big plans for that kid. I think God has big plans for all of us. Tragedy may have been the reason they found each other, but this couple believes that the man upstairs had a hand in their fate, taking a sad story and making it beautiful again. Chelsea Goss, ABC7 News.